I will be connecting the LEDs to a lab power supply. Please note, without a current limiting resistor. Then I'll slowly increase the supply voltage, and we'll see what happens. We'll start with the red LED. It does not light up. I keep raising the voltage. As the value approximately 1.8 volts is reached, the LED begins to glow. What happens next? With a slight increase in voltage, for example to 1.9 volts, the current strand begins to grow rapidly, as does the LED brightness. At a voltage of 2.08 volts, the current is already 20 milliamps, and at 2.11 volts, 30 milliamps. Let's take another LED. This is a blue one. We see that when the voltage reaches 2.3 volts, it doesn't even turn on. The glow starts at approximately 2.4 volts. The current begins to increase. At a voltage of 2.74 volts, it is 10 milliamps. 2.98 volts, 20 milliamps. 3.15 volts, 30 milliamps. Let's take the next test subject. This is a green LED. Here the glow begins at approximately 1.88 volts. At a voltage of 1.95 volts, the current increases to 10 milliamps. 2.02 volts, 20 milliamps. 2.08 volts, 30 milliamps. And the last test subject is the yellow LED. It starts to glow at a voltage of approximately 1.8 volts. 1.97 volts, current 10 milliamps. 2.02 volts, 20 milliamps. 2.09, 30 milliamps. What conclusions can be drawn from this experiment? Of course, each LED does have a voltage at which it operates. But this voltage is very difficult to find, since it is within very small limits. If you lower it, the brightness drops sharply. If you raise it, the current rapidly increases and the LED may fail. Meanwhile, you probably noticed that the higher the current, the higher the brightness. It turns out that when powering an LED, it is more convenient to rely on current rather than voltage, because in this case, we do not have to stabilize it so carefully.